This videography examines the emergence of the menopause gold rush, the hyper-commodification of the aging woman, framed via the concept of pinkification. It offers a critique of the discursive framing of the aging woman, and explores the value of color theory to understand how market framing takes place. Hormones and Hysteria Hysteria, Hippocrates, was based on the idea that the uterus would cause women problems, particularly mental health issues. This was usually diagnosed in women who didn't have, or want to have, penetrative sex. The bad uterus was described as taking to wandering around the body, causing anxiety, a sense of suffocation, convulsions and paralysis. Therapeutic measures included sex, incarceration, use of smells. Hysteria still had medical, particularly psychiatric, and psychoanalytic currency, well into the 1990s. Ernest Henry Starling, 1905, first coined the term hormone. Hormones replaced hysteria as the primary scientific vehicle explaining women's problems. Hormones have effects but are not deterministic. They should be understood as embedded in particular biosocial systems. In the current medical model the female brain hormone ovary link still dominates. The menopause. The menopause transition can begin at 45 with the perimenopause. As estrogen levels drop menopause is cessation of periods for 12 months. Menopausal transition is highly diverse but symptoms can persist for years. Quite recently the market for menopause, or the menopause gold rush emerged, reportedly worth as much as $600 billion annually. This includes new medical technologies, drugs slash creams, hair products, counseling and activism, natural health products, cooling clothes, cosmetics, and so much more. Emergent market discourses produce aging women in very specific ways, contained here by the framing of pinkification. Pinkification Pinkification affords a conflation of women's empowerment with the celebration of hyperfemininity. It suggests a re-enchantment with the feminine, with both infantilization and a highly constrained version of sexualization of women implied. Overrepresentation of youthful, intact bodies, and reliance on consumption and consumerism. Literally pinking up the aging woman. Pinkification has worked with other previously absent market actors like LGBT+, the Pink Pound, and breast cancer survivors, Pink Positivity. The dynamics of market appropriation bring important discursive and material effects with emergent new silences and emissions. Prompting with pinkification on search, and AI sites throws up pinkified representations of women. Even when prompting for older women. Searching on Google for menopause seems to result in the same. Products for menopause largely follow the same aesthetic. The themes. Theme 1 The Return. This theme focuses on anti-aging discourse. With products promising a return to a youth reclaimed. This affords an erasure of a possible legitimate older version of ourselves. And foregrounds polarized aging female stereotypes of Kruger. Or Chrome. Pure Meno Complex, 29 pounds and 99 pence for a month's supply is designed to help you get back to feeling your very best, no matter what life decides to throw your way. Feel herbal vitamin and mineral supplements, 26 pounds and 95 pence per month. Feels targeted supplements can help bring you back to the best version of yourself. Theme 2, Calming and Quieting. Reproduces a hysteria discourse, the menopausal woman as hysteric. Promotes the idea of the older woman as a necessarily submissive and quiet subject. Frames any passion, emotion or argumentation as pathologized in the older women. The menopause stack, 39 pounds and 99 pence per month, aids mood regulation. 
health and her perimenopause multi-nutrient support supplement, 14 pounds and 99 pence per month, improves psychological function, may help to maintain mental well-being, may support emotional balance. Theme 3, Contain Sexuality. Promoting non-threatening sexuality infused with girly connotations. The sexual older woman needs to not take herself too seriously. Exhibiting playful or childlike sexuality. Theme 4, Brain Boosting. Frames older women as having lost brain power, contra the wise woman figure. Enables continuation in the system of power, but not allowing older women's critique. The menopause stack, 39 pounds and 99 pence per month, enhances memory and cognitive function. Health and her perimenopause multinutrient support supplement, 14 pounds and 99 pence per month, improves cognitive function. With pinkification the aging woman is framed as redundant, physically, cognitively, sexually and emotionally, unless pinked up by various products and services. And this pinking up implies a constant and ultimately futile quest for the youthful self. A recognition of one's cognitive limitations and emotional liability and a precarious sexuality subject to derision and disgust. Discussion points, how do we create models and practices that intervene in these discourses? How do we understand the role of colors in amplifying or framing particular discourses? Thank you for watching.